I'm Jan. I'm, I'm Lindsay. I'm Baroness I'm a teacher. And, and I'm an anti-bullying, anti-bullying ambassador. ambassador. When I first began to run anti-bullying campaigns throughout the school, you think that it's paying you some sort of lip service, oh here's Miss again doing another assembly. And So when we heard about the Diana anti-bullying programme, we were really excited at the idea of having a student-led incentive. So we attended the training, um, we had a few to start with that were interested. Um, they did really well and came up with some fantastic ideas. Then we continued, really, we kept taking applications from other young people at school. We're we want to be creating anti-bullying content that reaches students, parents and the community. Welcome to the Toothpaste Challenge. Please welcome our four lucky contestants. Contestants, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Going through to the final with a time of 26 seconds is contestant number two. So your final challenge is to put the toothpaste back in the tube. Go! That's all we've got time for today folks, but just remember, like the toothpaste, once me words have been said, you can't take them back. This is Little by Little. This silhouette dance shows emotional roller coaster of bullying and how to prevent it. They told me I'm no good. The reason we chose dance to show the strong message is because people really connect with what's happening. It shows what physically happens rather than just telling people what happens. You can win up in your room like no one cares where you've been. You're not alone. Just let the daylight in. Titch has wrote a lot of anti-bullying songs and she's a very inspirational person to the ambassadors across the country. We've started running e-safety sessions to staff and students to promote online safety. Social media can be a weakness for bullying, but for us it's the, it's the bullseye, it's the target we want to be on. And the reason for that is because so many people use it these days, not just kids, adults, elderly, all of that. We, from, for us we need to be on that because if we can get behind that, and show people how to use it responsibly, we can tackle a huge amount of the bullying that happens today. People want our children to go out to their school. Um, we go out to feed the primary schools and they want us to help them. In the anti-bullying training, we learned that compliments can bright up someone's day. So we came up with Say Something Great About A Mate. But we're not stopping there. We're here sharing this message with the community. I look amazing. I'm lovely. I've got a super smile. I'm a great friend. We're here today promoting our anti-bullying message. Okay, so Luke, what advice would you give to anybody out there that's being bullied at the moment? Our message is to speak out and tell someone about it because it will get better. The best thing about being an anti-bullying ambassador is basically feeling that you can help anybody really because once you've helped one person you feel like you can help the whole school and it's basically what we're trained to do. After anti-bullying training we decided that we were going to start tackling homophobic bullying within our school. This is not okay. I strongly suggest you start with the prejudice and the homophobic remarks. Clean it up before someone else has to. First two weeks I was bullied, being called loads of really cruel names. It felt like I couldn't escape, it was everywhere I went. Everyone I looked at, they were looking at me, laughing at me. It just made me feel really hopeless and I could tell people were talking about me behind my back and saying like I'm a loser, other really cruel stuff what no one should have to hear. In the end I just wanted to curl up in a ball in a dark room in a dark corner and just never come back. But then Rebecca came into my life with a bang. 
She was really helpful, she's helped me through a lot of tough times. She became an anti-bullying ambassador and whenever I needed someone she's always been there for me. Learning that there were anti-bullying ambassadors up at this school um, helped me a lot because we were told not to be a bystander and step in and help somebody if they are getting bullied and it helps now to, because it helps my friends and it also helps other people and helps our connections and things. Hi I'm Libby and I'm an ambassador and when I was younger I didn't really take into consideration of how I made other people feel when me and other group of girls made someone else feel very upset. I think schools helped her in a way and I think if they didn't have it in school, yeah, she would have probably gone down a bad route. I'm not saying it's a definite, but I think they got picked up on and I think if they hadn't picked up on, then it may have gone another way than it should have. After everything happened, when I got took into Miss FJ's office, which is an anti-bullying coordinator, she made me realise that what I did was wrong and that's when I got the opportunity to turn my actions around and then that's when I decided that I was going to be an anti-bullying ambassador so I know that now people can change themselves like I did. How proud of Libby are you? Don't make me cry. <laughs> um. Amazing. <laughs> that's it. Yeah.